Now again, moving up to the first floor does not mean that they are thinking of themselves as terrorists. They are just dissatisfied with some aspect of their lives and they're trying to move up. In some parts of the world, the individuals we're talking about on the ground floor are mostly young people. In most of North Africa, the Middle East, the Near East, Something like 60% of the population is below the age of 25. Competition in areas like education and jobs is really very fierce. And there are very few resources. Similarly, when we think about the 25 million or so Muslims in Western Europe, competition for them is very fierce. And as they struggle on the ground floor, one of their challenges is to get access to the right kinds of educational opportunities, job opportunities. And again, they are not thinking of themselves as terrorists. They are simply trying to move up this staircase. On the first floor, their behavior is characterized more by a search for routes to social mobility. So on every floor of the staircase, People's behavior is characterized by particular psychological characteristics. So on the first floor, the main psychological theme is social mobility. Individuals trying to make progress in their employment, in their schools, in their career opportunities, make progress for their children, and so on, like us. Some of these individuals become very frustrated because they do not find any routes to making progress, because they find their paths blocked. In some parts of the world, this is because of the corruption of the uh, dictatorships that are in place, of the blockages that are there against mobility. There is not the freedom, the open competition, that people seek. And again, some individuals become very frustrated and they move up to the next level of the staircase.